Good morning to all of you. Um, I want to show you today how to do a self-release for the medial and lateral pterygoids. Um, we're not going to practice these ones on our clients because they're very sensitive and I want to supervise you while you learn how to do these palpations, but we can play around and do them on ourselves, uh, which will give us an idea of how to find them, where to palpate them, and what it feels like when you hit on them. The medial and lateral pterygoids take on a great deal of stress when we have jaw issues um, and TMJ dysfunction, as you learned from the lecture and as you're learning in assessment as well. So let me show you how to do it. Um, this is a treatment I do on myself all the time when my jaw gets tight and you'll find, I never had TMJ problems before becoming a massage therapist, but leaning forward um, and overall uh, over time, my posture kind of changed and I found that my jaw um, began to take on some tensions. It's just, you know, one of those things when your posture changes, it may affect your uh, TMJ. So. I'm gonna use a glove today just because I have them. I know you probably don't have them, which is another reason why you're not gonna do these on uh, your clients. And obviously you can just use your bare hands um, for your own, own palpation. Make sure you wash your hands well, obviously. So we're gonna start with the lateral pterygoid. So if you watch the demonstration palpation videos of Gales, you would have seen me um, palpating this on the model in those videos. When you do it on yourself, you work cross body. So I've got my right hand here, which means I'm gonna be working into the left TMJ. And for the lateral pterygoids, you use your indexed finger and you're gonna slide the fingernail side or the dorsal aspect of uh, your finger along the top molars until you get to the back. And when you can't go any further, when your fingernail's on your last molar, the tip of your finger or your finger pad will be, it'll hit something that feels like bone. And that's actually where the lateral pterygoid is. It's such a strong muscle that it feels so tight that it almost has a bone-like feeling to it. And then the action to treat that muscle, um, if there's a trigger point in it, you'll know immediately because it's very tender. Um, sometimes you can feel referral pain into the ear, into the teeth, depending. Uh, and then the action is, we would always use like a St. John's technique for this uh, treatment because it's so tender. Um, so you would just hold on it and it's all, the pressure almost is like going away from your cheek, like outwards. And then you would hold it for eight to 12 seconds and make sure that you are breathing through this because it could be very tender. So I'm gonna show you. So there, I'm on it right there. And I am pressing and it's tender. Okay, so that was about eight to 10 seconds. I usually get my clients to kind of move their jaw around a little bit. So move your jaw around a little bit. And um, I go in a couple of times. Usually this needs a little bit more stretching, a little bit more work. So go in a couple of times, retreat that area, see if you can tell a difference. I can already, it's almost immediate. I can immediately tell a difference from right to left as soon as I do this treatment even once. Um, I, I will treat the other side as well. I won't show it to you on video, but I will treat the other side because otherwise I will feel off balance for the rest of the day. Now the medial pterygoids are a trickier one, which is why it's a good idea to practice it on yourself before you practice on somebody else. For the medial pterygoids, they're on the inside. So we were on the outside of the teeth for the lateral pterygoids, which is an easier one to treat. The medial pterygoids are located on the inside of the mandible. So it is really tricky. Um, it's trickier because you have to go inside and so you have to make sure that you don't gag. And you won't because you're really sticking to the edge of the mandible. You shouldn't be going down the throat at all. So I use my finger. I start, uh, same index finger, I'm gonna do cross body as well. I, I go flat over top of the molars until I find my last molar. And then I drop off and inside the mandible. 
and then I inch my way inferior, just a little bit inferior, and you'll find a tender spot there. And the medial pterygoids are very, very, um, I find more problems with the lateral pterygoids because the lateral pterygoids are involved in all the motions of the jaw, but the medial pterygoids, when they are affected, they're super tender and they're not a place where people are used to being touched. So just be, be careful about that, mindful about that. So I'll show you this one. Uh, lock. Right there. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And slowly come off. Move the jaw around a little bit. That one is very tender for me, um, which I'm surprised to discover, but there it is. And yeah, so I will do this again probably. I'll do this a couple of times just to make sure it's fully released. Remember, eight to 12 seconds. You would warm up the uh, area with some myofascial release if you, especially if you're particularly tight. Um, but this is just a fun palpation exercise to give you guys some other clues about how this goes. Okay, good luck with that.